the second part of this project involves coloring in the all the white space and we're not going to use specific colors per se but we're going to use uh, photographs uh, from the internet so what you want to do is you're going to use the magic wand tool and you're probably going to want it to be the second one which is add to selection that allows you to choose more than one spot in you know, one section at a time so if I zoom in here and I'll just do the reds uh, for this example so magic wand and I'm just selecting all these white spots and you'll notice I only have one layer happening right now so let me go here and I'll just look up my favorite reds player Eric Davis and I'm trying to find you know one where he's actually playing hopefully or you know get there we go so I'm just gonna copy this copy and then you go back to Photoshop you do edit paste special paste into usually people just do edit paste now you're pasting into this selection so edit Paste special, paste in two, and then you'll see him pop up. And you can see the layer mask that, that popped up. But you can see that I didn't color all the white parts. So I'm going to go to Edit, Free Transform. And I'm holding down the Shift key so the picture stays in proportion. And I'm dragging this so it covers up the entire area. Now I might just, you know, move it down a little bit so you can see his face hit enter now I'm ready to color something else now say you want to color the arrow here you're gonna to have to make sure that you're on the background layer because right now if I was to select this you can see it didn't get selected so make sure every time you want to color in something you're on the background layer so I'll say uh, I'll do the Boise State here Click some of these. I didn't select all of them because I think I want to leave some of them for another picture that I want to use. And you can see sometimes you really have to zoom in to get these spots. So I'm going to zoom back out. Now I'll go back here, look up Boise State football. That's where I graduated. So we'll get uh, something like that. That's pretty cool. Right click, copy image, go back to Photoshop, edit, paste special, paste in two, edit. We transform you can see where the, the bounding box is to see if you need to make it bigger or smaller. And you can even rotate it a little bit so it, you know it fits in there at the right orientation. Now if you don't like this, and I don't think I, I like this one, all you have to do is hit see it's highlighted, hit backspace. Or if you're really good at it, you can just step backward and then choose a different picture, but I think I want to actually select more of the uh, logo. Make sure I got it all. No, I did not. This little spot right here. The best, these look the best when you really pay attention to all the little details. You know, get every little last white part. Zoom out. I did miss some right there. Now I obviously probably can't get that, so I'll just use this polygonal lasso tool with the add to selection, and I can literally just go and see how it got selected. I'll do the same thing over here. Back to the magic wand. That's for advanced users. 
Let's try... Yeah, let's try this one right here. So copy this image. Zoom out a little bit. Edit. Paste special. Paste in two. That looks better. And edit. Transform. And you can see it's pretty big. You can rotate this around a little bit. Yeah, I like that better. Hit enter. Go back to the background. Choose something else. Now, these work the best when you use personal photos and whatnot. Um, trying to color in Shakira will be difficult to say the least. But uh, it's totally up to you what you want to put in your things, obviously. I particularly just like to put different pictures of you know what it is so for my daughter Caitlin I'll put pictures of her for Michio Kaku I'll put pic, you know different pictures of him so on and so forth so now I will very hurriedly try to color all of this in but this is the basic idea of how to color this in and towards the end I will show you how to color in the black lines if you don't like to use those either. So you can turn these off, see what they look like. Always make sure that you're on the background layer. You're using your magic wand tool. I would strongly suggest using the add to selection so you don't have to hold down shift. And basically just uh, color it all in. Okay, so when you have colored all of your objects in, it's now time to color in the background. And there's one of two ways to do this, but uh, one way is, you know, to click on the white. I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong layer. Make sure you're on the background layer, obviously. Click on the white, and you get to select similar. It'll select all the white parts, and you can see pretty much selected all the background and then you can uh, you know, let's look up a outer space background or something I'm just getting rid of a lot of color I'm going to copy this obviously it's copyright so I'll, I'll delete this you gotta edit, paste special, paste in two, and then edit, free transform. You can see that it'll cover all that up. You could do that. I think personally, I don't like that because it kind of takes away from each individual thing. I think it would look better if it was a. Uh, with a quilt of pictures. So here's how that works. So say you get some uh, Google Photos to look up here. I'll get uh, some colored ones um, that I like. Uh, I always want these to be personal, that's just me. So I'll take one of Copy image, go here, edit, paste special, paste.
paste into. And if we transform that. And there's what I was talking about a uh, quilt of pictures. So say I want to put it like right there. And make it a little smaller right there. There's me and Eric Davis hanging out. So hit enter. Go back to the background layer. I'm going to select these same spots again. Select similar. Selected all of them. Now I'm going to choose a different photo. Mm -hmm. my daughter. I'm going to copy this. Go here, edit, a special, paste it to, edit, transform. And then I'll position this one maybe like right here. And you can see what I'm talking about. And then you go back here, choose that same one, select, similar, selects all of them. Choose a different photo. I'll choose this one, copy, edit, paste special, paste it to. So you can see I'm selecting the same spot over and over again, but I'm putting it in different places. So maybe I'll put it like right there or right here I don't know maybe I don't want to see what's going on right there so maybe I'll move it somewhere else where I can see it better maybe make it smaller put it up at the top and then, and then just keep repeating that until you've colored it all in so I'm gonna skip ahead here and I'm gonna go ahead and do that All right, so hopefully you've colored in everything and you know you took your time on the background and you made a quilt uh, of photos instead of one giant picture in the background which I mean in my opinion I really don't like the way it looks I think it takes away from all the hard work you did in there I think to add to it uh, to add to the intricacy of this project you would want to you know add some smaller photos you know personal otherwise uh, but the last step is if you don't really like the black lines right here you can actually color over those as well this is optional obviously uh, if you don't want to do it you don't have to but for those that want to see what that looks like here's how you do it you make sure you're on the background layer and then you click on the magic wand tool and for this you might have to zoom in just to make sure you get a, a black line so you can see a black line so I'm just going to click on one of the black lines and you'll see it got selected now notice it didn't select all the black lines on the background layer so an easy way to make sure you get all that is go up to select go to similar and now when I you out you can see yep they got all the black parts on the coloring sheet so now you have to find a photo that you want to uh, color in that with and I would choose something that's really colorful uh, has a lot of different colors to it and we'll try a couple here just to see what they look like so I'll try an outer space one first uh, it looks like it's got a lot of colors and uh, I'll stay away from that one since it's got copyright issues. And then I'm just going to copy this. Go back here. Edit. Face special. Paste into. 
And you can see it pop up right there. Obviously, I'm gonna make that bigger, so edit free transform. And then I'll probably wanna rotate this even, because it was in landscape mode. And I'll get as big as that right there. And you hit enter, you can see it adds a nice color to it. Um, it's, it was still relatively dark, so you can still see some of the outlines there. So I'm just going to turn that. Uh, well, hold on, I'll leave it there. I'll turn that layer off and I'll reselect the black parts to show you what a, another photo would look like. You, you might want to, you know, experiment with this. And you know, here's a personal photo, so I'm going to copy this, go back over here, edit, paste special, paste in two, edit, transform, and hold the shift button down so it stays in proportion. And if I hit enter, you can see this got you know, a different look than this one. So this is the outer space one. And this is the other one. So whichever one you like, you can keep. I mean, you can keep going until you get, you know, what you like. Uh, you can. I mean, there's 8,000 ways to do this. You can even uh, you know, click on the background layer again. Uh, select the black again. Select somewhere. You can even add colors to it. So like a gradient overlay and. Uh, you want to do a rainbow. Just click, drag, let go. See the rainbow colors. So, like I said, there's 8,000 ways to do this. Whichever way you really want to is cool. Otherwise, you can just, you know, leave it black. It's totally your call. Um, so, that's basically the project. Now, if you're a student of mine, this is what you want to do when you get done with it. You want to go to File save as and I would suggest everyone save it as a JPEG save it as you know, coloring sheet and then your name you know, save it somewhere where you know where it is hit save again make sure it says JPEG hit save hit OK and then that'll be the one that you upload in the Schoology right here. It even says copy and paste submission link, upload JPEG version. Now since I'm a teacher I can't really upload it but you'll see it over here and there's already been some people that have you know, uploaded it so you can see that in the other classes. So that is how you color it in. That's how you color in the black parts if you want to do that. Um, and hopefully uh, you're happy with and satisfied with your uh, final product.